Mm -hmm. uh, no, let's Test, do this. Two minutes, two minutes for this. Wait, 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 wait. wait a minute. Test, students, come on, let's take. Now check, now check. The voice is clearly audible. Come on, now check, 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 check. Students, Ru yes, Rudraksh, yes, Rudraksh, my daily, Hema. Now check, students. Sorry for that. Sorry, extremely sorry, students. The live started late and voice is not visible. I'm sorry, not audible. Sorry for that. Come on, students, let us know. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, students. In today's class, we discuss entire carbon and its compounds within three hours. Just imagine with foundation, students. Foundation is nothing but whole thing. 
stereoisomerism and everything with neat je questions my dear students neat je questions everything students before enter into the session please do not forget to like share subscribe the channel and also share the channel for your friends and ask them to subscribe the channel and grow it students okay <coughs> if the channel cross 3k subscription in next week in before next week you guys have one biggest surprise come on let's discuss yes first learning outcomes my dear students introduction about carbon and volatile nature for class 10th especially ema this topic is there now volatile nature very very important in this volatile nature two important learning outcomes or two important topics or two important sub topics is there students tetravalency and catenation these two in these two definitely you guys have minimum two marks questions for your class 10 board exams okay students yes i know i know ma can i watch this yes this for class 10 only especially for class 10 and je foundation both it include everything for class 10 students also for je students also for need students also the students who enter now only clear now only completed their class 10 and they have plan to do je and need this is very important because these all are basics for your class 11 as well class 10 is also very important thank you so much rudraksh next second learning outcome crystalline and amarpa allotrope. it is also very important come on let's discuss introduction students the clause what we hear clause that minching minching clause and that medicines sometimes what happened fever is coming mom is coming she gives some medicine and also in doctor in the if you visit any doctor shop that they give some medicines and also egg meat rice bread in everything carbon is there why we learn carbon sir why carbon is very important you know students in our environment more than 3 million carbon compound is there everything is made up of carbon you know our body 18 percent of human body is made up of carbon my dear student it is made up of carbon just imagine where is there in dna you know dna what is the full form of dna if you know the full form of dna let us know in chat section everybody made up of carbon sir carbon very simple hema carbon we have in many particles or many substance in cloth we include some uh, other uh what was that one yes that silkworm that silk something coming right students it is also there it's also presence carbon the cloths are made up of some cloths, right? Right, students. The every cloth is consists some plastic materials and other things. These are all made up of carbon only. You know, plastic is also made up of carbon. Deoxynucleic acid. As in deoxynucleic acid, we know, right, students, ATP, that uh, something difference is there. I am weak at bio students. Don't ask bio questions here. If you ask maths question also, you can ask J level maths question. Definitely I solve here only. Huh, but I don't know bio physics questions also I can solve okay students yes and also butter or ghee you know carbohydrates for everybody carbohydrate is very important for example I come here already Rudraksh said, uh, said what wow what energy sir for energy also carbohydrate is important where carbohydrate obtain carbohydrate what present in carbohydrate protein yes sir protein in protein also carbon is there my dear student glucose what is the molecular formula of glucose c6 h12 o6 what is this c sir it is carbon sir in meat every protein every protein is consists carbon my dear student chemistry or mass both ma hema my main subject is basically chemistry but i teach entire chemistry entire mass for class 10 as well as maths for class 11 je 11 everything i teach if you give physics also i can teach everything i teach but expect that bio i hate it i don't know why but you know in organic chemistry i complete my masters at organic right students but in that organic 50 percent of bio concept is there but my cgpa you know my score students around 85 percent in master just imagine i am the sixth ranker for bangalore university okay come on let's discuss in these materials or in these compounds or in this particles or in these materials so many materials carbon is there petrol diesel whenever you travel one side to another side for example rudrach is there everyone like bike traveling simply you know a lot of okay sir s what simply uh, rag, riding and uh, riding a bike and simply doing wheeling and everything for bike 
फ्यूल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट स्टूडेंट नेचुरल गैस इन एवरीथिंग कार्बन इज देयर दैट्स व्हाई कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज रिलीज इन यू नो फॉर एयर पोल्यूशन आल्सो कार्बन इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट मटेरियल और इंपॉर्टेंट कंपाउंड कार्बन वी हैव एन यूज एंड आल्सो वी हैव एन सम इफेक्ट दैट्स व्हाई स्टूडेंट्स कार्बन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट कार्बन in our human body totally how many percent yes 18% where is this one 18% oh my god here look here 18% carbon is there students you know one thing i explain same chapter uh, i think more than 10 times if you ask question in any mid part of this uh, class uh, sorry mid part of this lesson in from ncert anything i can answer okay then after this calcium is there phosphorus calcium is very important sir in human bones calcium is present right that is very important and also only 0.02% of carbon present in earth crust as a minerals just imagine only 0.02% but more carbon present as an gas in atmosphere my dear students main component in pollution s rudraksh hi hi arun i think divya right arun singh is divya Yes, yes, Divya. Then after this, in natural fibers called cotton, wool, silk, in silk form, many former family run with this silk form. Especially, I am from Ramnagar. Oh, Sudesh, oh my God, hi, hi, Sudesh, my dear students, students, Hema, Rudraksh, the uh, students, Sudesh and Divya and everybody. These are new students, Rudraksh, my Dilly, Hema. These are all new students. but we don't have that much of knowledge of this chapter to ask you sir oh my god sir coal is carbon or carbon is coal e coal is carbon carbon is not coal coal consists carbon okay for example uh, how can i give example this one yes one of the loyal cricket fan base is present in rcb we love rcb not kohli we also love kohli whenever whenever it comes to our nation first we love our nation not players okay similarly carbon carbon is present in everywhere by using carbon coal is forming that's all okay as as sudhi sudhi these are all new students ema she is very brilliant girl she is very brilliant girl students come on let's move this fossil fuels you know right in before ages what happened dinosaurs is present that thing is present what happened for that something is happened right students that disposes everything it is present in our in our what in our earth crust or in our earth inside right students so on that only the petrol is formed and other things why only in dubai and other cases in other area only petrol is coming but why here not because we don't know the petrol is formed by using fossil fuels only my dear students in bicarbonates everything carbon is occurred in nature in two forms in two different form first form is in free state like us we have freedom we have freedom to do anything right we are free simply we go play cricket read some books and write some exam everything is happened right free state combined state is nothing but after marriage what happened combined that's all very simple combined state leave state carbon obtained in two forms my dear students first one is in free state second one is in combined state very simple okay this this in free state it obtained as these three forms these three also called as an allotrope allotrope meaning is my dear students very simple for example we know the one person in in overall world totally one person look like in seven persons it's called in kannada i know students but i don't know in english it's like it look like what happened it have a different physical property different physical properties nothing but for example in one family three sons are there one son is in tall one son is in small but they have some similar property but they different in their physical form these are called allotropes allotropes is nothing but students these are all consist carbon only for example in metals and non metals we know this diamond is a non metal but diamond is a non metal but what sir is carbon always black in color no ma no ma no it's not always in black in color depends for example sir did you teach chem 11 standard in this channel yes sir i already complete one unit sudesh were you not attending that class gvc my dear students one of the toughest chapter in history of chemistry for the chapter i only sit and read for 3 days to explain you guys i sit and read for 3 days please watch that video sudesh i entire gvc i teach within 4 hours right my dilly my dilly 
right ma i think over four four to five hours please watch it if you want i explain overall unit in 15 minutes that all concepts in one day okay if you want then let us know in comment section i need some comment students after the class 10 uh, over after the class 10 exams over there is no comments in my video why i don't know why you guys forgot me hmm? simply students that's why i i am really sad about that uh ema no ema dim uh, carbon is not black in color it depends upon their physical nature for example in diamond you know diamond necklace what's the color of diamond white some shining nature right diamond similarly diamond is there graphite graphite is black in color it's depend code these are called allotrope family allotropes yes students in maine dekha oh super thank you so much thank you so much yes students and uh, we have other forms also limestone in limestone also carbon is present sunna right and also marble chalk piece chalk powder petroleum natural gas in everywhere carbon is there carbon is classified into two types this for especially for my really and class 11 my dear students for ema this is don't think too much about this two but you want idea you have little bit now you have you got little bit idea about carbon forms right it's enough for class 10 but class 11 this is very important what is the meaning of inorganic carbon organic carbon organic chemistry is different inorganic chemistry is different students in organic chemistry only we divide inorganic chemistry and chemistry some compounds we already know sir if carbon forms a bond with hydrogen this entire ch bond or ch molecule called as an organic these are very essential element and if it's not formed with oxygen or any other carbide salts any other carbonate salts if hydrogen is not present then it is called inorganic for example carbon dioxide carbon monoxide everything 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 right student very nice video thank you so much divya thank you so much thank you so much it is it is my first attempt students for class 11th i already take class in vedanta ncert solution i explain every solution in cg for me don't worry i teach entire chemistry don't tell anyone okay hey simply i told guys share the channel and subscribe it okay sir will come later specially for class 10 no 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 sir will come later specially uh please ask once i don't understand your question students ema sir will come later specially for class 10 no no you there it is only we have few concepts few concepts that's all it's always related students for for example whenever they ask we already know in some uh, some parts or in question paper some questions are out of syllabus in this part they ask out of syllabus it is very easy then these are called students and one important uh, story is there here what happened in before 18th 80s okay 80s not in 18 sorry 80s 8 or uh, that uh, something 9 uh, 18 16 18 15 that thing what happened what they think so oh, only the some few people are there they are highly educated and philosophers they called us in philosopher they don't know they simply told something if they told something what happened the all other people or follow that thing what they told organic compounds is nothing but only they are derived from natural resources for example sugar urea these are all derived from animal urine okay animal urine the urea is extracted it's very 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 useful in sugar cane plant the uh, sugar is obtained right only these two are think as a organic compound but the one scientist is there the scientist name frederick holler where is he yes this fellow this fellow what happened hey it's false wait i prove one experiment simply he come he do some experiment and he prepared one new organic and first organic compound it is urea this is a formula of urea it is very important for your class 11th in salt analysis especially in organic compound qualitative analysis of organic compound this test is there my dear students urea nitroprusside test what happened he simply eat ammonium cyanate then you got urea then everyone shock oh my god we can easily prepare organic compounds in our home also oh my god it's cool not in home in laboratory after that that rule is get cancelled the rule name is there students where is that one no it's forgot okay i explain in next next one of the bonding this about introduction of entire carbon sir but there is no 11 started part 1 chapter 1 some basics yes that is only for 11th standard some basic concepts of chemistry yes that's only for 11th standard some basic concepts of chemistry 
Search it, search it. Yesterday only I take live. Yesterday only I take live. Students, yesterday only I take live. Please search it. So this, please search it. In channel, it is there. Part one, part two, two video is there. Okay, student. Sorry for that. Today I don't have my breakfast. Okay. I eat some chakli dipit in the mid of the class. Don't worry. So sorry for that. If you want, I can give. Okay. Come on, let's discuss. Next one is the bonding. Hema. Especially for you guys, it is very important. And also, my Dili, if you want to build your foundation and other body, this part is very important. Carbon. What is the symbol of carbon? Atomic symbol? Yes, sir. C. It is. What is the atomic number? Six is nothing but total number of proton is six. Then total number of electron is six. What about valency? Sir, its valency is four. What is the electronic configuration? Two comma four. Either. It gain four electron, either it lose four electron to gain which electronic configuration to noble electronic noble gas electronic configuration, right? Student, this is called as a tetravalency, valency four, or it is also called as a tetravalency. In exam, they ask why carbon 12 super high nataraja in classes. <coughs> One second, student, they ask in exam students for class 10 what they ask. We we know. Carbon have 3 million product. What the reason behind it? It is very important. Octet, not an octet mark. Yes, yes. Oh, you told octet, right? Yes, yes. It's correct. Yes, yes. Then it is called tetravalency. And it shows another important character or another important bonding future. It is called catenation. What is meaning of catenation? Very simple students. You know Suhas sir. What I do? I do bond. I, I form a bond with me only with me only in continuous long chain similarly what this carbon do it forms a bond with same carbon atom to a long chain that's why we have three million compounds of carbon and you know one thing only carbon and silicon forms or produce this or shows this catenation property my dear students very important question for your je aspirants especially Especially for JE aspirants, they ask in your JE exam, except carbon, which element shows catenation property? Only silicon only shows catenation property. Except carbon. Very important. My dearly, please note down this. Hema, you also. In exams, they ask. Okay, in MCQ, we know, right? Eight MCQ, eight marks is coming from your for coming for your board exams. In this eight marks minimum, two marks from this unit only. Sir, draw catenation allotropes are form. Allotropes, allotropes never forms any catenation. Allotropes never forms any catenation. Only carbon. Oh, yes, allotropes also they um they contains carbon only, but allotropes never forms. They are solid nature. Catenation. Sorry, 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 my dear students. Yes, in allotropes also catenation is there. That's why diamond look like this. It forms so long bond. Yes, in the allotropes also catenation is there. That's why allotropes are formed due to catenation only allotropes form. Sorry for that. I have only confused. Hema is clear. Hema is clear. In allotropes, also carbon present. Then it also shows catenation. Definitely it also shows catenation. Yes, Hema, it's clear. My Dili, it's clear. My Dili, are you there? My Dili, anything? Any doubts is there? Still bonding? Still bonding, any doubt is there? Catenation and tetravalency? Any doubt, my dear students, let us know. If it's clear, type CC part. Nataraja, any doubt is there? Mr. Raja, any doubt? And yes, Hema, any doubts? Let us know, let us know, students. Fast. Everybody fast. Type CC fast, type CC fast. And please do not forget to like the video. Yes, sir. Yes. Type CC students. In chart section, please type CC. CC is nothing but crystal clear. Yes, super. My Dili said clear. What's about Ema and Nataraja and other people? Totally seven people are watching the video. What's about others? Students, if you want any videos <coughs> on any topics, then let us know. Don't worry. CC, super my Ema. Come on, let's discuss here. Students, we know every element has one tendency. Noble, electron, noble gas electronic configuration is Either duplet or octet. It's completely filled. All have one tendency what happened. I want to do like that. For example, anyone take by especially the girls. Okay, especially the girls, not anyone. Anyone eat something ice cream. 
we are also love before we go and we force to appa or amma mom please buy this please buy this similarly what happened the elements all elements have a one tendency to attain to attain noble gas electronic configuration for that for that my dear students either we know valency of carbon is four totally four electrons present in the last electron or valence shell valence shell is nothing but last last electron last valence shell right students what happened either carbon lose four electrons or gain four electrons hey ma hey ma look here very important question definitely 100 percent question my dear lalit one student name is uh, uh, should already know lalit student the student name is lalit always they are suha sir please told 100 percent question please told 100 percent question students just imagine in exam before exam day i teach entire chemistry in within one and a half hour the doubt solution everything but you know i told some few questions totally i predict 22 marks from for your chemistry board exams just imagine if you want if lalit watch this video then lalit let us know in comment section it's true or false hey students this about this thing either it loses its four electron either it gain its four electron for that if it gain we know totally six proton is there if it gain how many number of electrons totally how many uh, number of electrons is become it becomes totally 10 electrons. It is too difficult students. Imagine in one side Hema is there, in one side me is there. Hema is little bit um, a weight lower than me only. If I push Hema then what happened? Hema fell down. Similarly it is too difficult to hold 10 electrons from 6 protons. Never match it. If 10 proton is there then it's okay. Otherwise one electron it is okay. Sir I went and i searched for your video but chapter 8 of organic chem only came there is no chapter 1 video of yours is it is it true my dear one second uh look here sudesh where is that one yes yeah about respiration Check least, uh, le uh, sorry, check latest video, yesterday's video, check latest yesterday's video, you got that video, don't worry, check latest yesterday's video, so this, check latest yesterday's video, for that, and also, if it remove for uh, one, way is already blocked, it can't accept four electron, but it, another way is there, what it do, either it closes its electron, but it is too difficult students, carbon is very small, for losing the four electron in its valence shell it is too difficult for that we need high energy you can't imagine that energy students both ways are blocked then what happened what the carbon do to overcome this problem carbon do one thing for example i have four chocolates and Emma have four chocolates we need to share if we add both two chocolates then it approximately have eight for that carbon come on idea oh my god uh, carbon told hema hema can we share can we share the chocolates then we can easily uh, we can easily complete our assignment and other thing surabi i want to repeat this one yes i repeat it surabi it is very easy students we know carbon yes, sir i watched all your pyq video before exam there some questions came directly now sudesh is already told that Yes, Koval and Maidili told that. Surabi is very easy. Totally the valence is carbon. The carbon valence is 4. Carbon valence is 4. Right? Sharing of electrons super Maidili. Carbon valence is 4. What happened? Either it gained 4 electrons or lose 4 electrons. To hold it is too difficult. To remove is also too difficult. This 4 A energy is required. For that, it comes with new idea or overcome this problem. Carbon, what they do? It shares its valence electrons with other elements like hydrogen and other oxygen everything it is everything except that metals okay except that metals metals are always ionic ionic in nature okay except metals sometimes metal carbonates also they right in metals also they pops in metals also they shares very simple so okay students i in few metals only not in all metals in few metals it forms i can agree to this thank you so much divya Yes, students, now it's clear. It forms a new bond. It is called covalent bond. What is covalent bond? Carbon shares its valence electron with other atoms forming covalent bond. Covalent bond is also a one type of chemical bond. 
it is also one type of chemical bond it is formed by sharing of its valence electron between two elements you know students in ionic bond we already know sudesh know divya know everybody know about ionic compounds in ionic bond what happened entire one element give the electron and another element accept everything then it forms a one bond positive negative it form one bond but in covalent compounds what happened both shares its valence electron then it forms covalent compounds these type of compounds are called covalent compounds entire carbon compounds forming covalent compounds only only covalent compounds if you want to study organic chemistry then you should must know this basics bonding covalent compound definition of covalent compound and other relevant valency and everything go and watch your goc video thank you so much sudesh watch it watch it my dear sudesh if you have any doubt then let us know in comment section only i make a new video about that comment okay if you have doubt okay sudesh bye bye students now it's clear now it's clear relevant now it's clear about covalent compounds and covalent bond my dear students sir h2o is covalent bond no h2o is not a covalent bond because students what is the structure of h2o yes h2o is covalent bond only yes h2o sorry 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 yes h2o is covalent bond only the Totally, I don't even have one one pair, right, students? This one pair and this one both are forming, and this one. Yes, H two is covalent bond. Difference between ionic and covalent bond. As I explain this one, difference. Good question. Good question, Surubi. Ionic compound and covalent compounds. Ionic compound consists ionic bond. Covalent compounds consist covalent bonds. In ionic bond, students, these are also type of uh, these are also type of chemical bond only. But what happened here? One entire electron gives electron. Sorry, one entire element gives electron, and one entire element accepts that electron to form covalent. Sorry, ionic. In covalent bond, sharing of electron is happen. In this, donating one element donates and one element accept the electron. these are good conductor of electricity sorry good conductor of electricity at their molten state similarly these are bad conductor of electricity this is a difference between ionic and covalent i hope it's clear as yes, ema h2o is covalent in nature h2o bond is covalent in nature then move on to the types of covalent bonds there are totally three types of covalent bond is there are otherwise sorry or we classify covalent bond into three types first bond is a single bond in this what happened each element or each atom contributes only one electron double bond two triple bond three okay it's clear students if it's clear if it is clear let's type cc in charge section everybody let's type cc in charge section everybody first hema surubi and maidili if it's clear it is clear if it's not clear then let us know in charge section everybody I really like to teach this unit, students. My favorite, one of the my favorite unit in your class and syllabus. I love this. I love this unit. That's why. That's why I I only take always. I only take always this unit. I always take this unit. Everything, sir. How to identify if it's ionic or covalent? Very simple, ma. Whenever the metal is there, definitely it is covalent bond. Hey, ma. Whenever the metal is there, definite. So sorry, sorry, sorry. Whenever the metal is there, definitely it's an ionic bond. Whenever the non-metals are there, definitely it is an covalent bond. Very simple. I hope it's clear, Emma. Then another one, volatile nature is there, na ketination. Now first one is done. Then move on to the structure of methane. This thing is happened. Tetravalent students. Very simple. Carbon. This is an volatile nature of carbon. Entire imagination or entire graph or entire that mind map of volatile nature of carbon. Yes, students. first carbon is there it is capability to forming multiple bonds why because it is some other compound it can form with same carbon atom only this property it is called as an ketination then with other atoms like oxygen nitrogen because due to smaller size than tetravalency tetravalency is nothing but it has a four valence electron in carbon right in, in its valence cell right that's why co2 this side very simple and the very important property important students if you want this ppt i share it in on my telegram channel sorry my in my telegram channel that is nothing but diksha vedantu for joining to telegram channel what you guys do very simple click the description button in the description button it's already there telegram channel link tl link then join it 
स्टूडेंट स्केटिनेशन प्रॉपर्टी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी वॉट इज स्केटिनेशन प्रॉपर्टी द एबिलिटी ऑफ एन एटम टू ज्वाइन विद अदर एटम्स ऑफ द सेम एलिमेंट कार्बन इट हेज एन एबिलिटी टू ज्वाइन विद सेम कार्बन एटम ओनली दिस इज कॉल्ड केटिनेशन कार्बन फॉर्म्स थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स और नॉट इन बॉन्ड्स कार्बन फॉर्म्स कार्बन ऑपरेट इन थ्री वॉट थ्री स्ट्रक्चर्स दिस ऑर स्ट्रक्चर्स राइट वॉन्ट इन स्ट्राइट चाइन स्ट्राइट लाइन and another one is branched chain and another one is closed chain except silicon is forming this one i already explained this entire this one then here one simple question is there my dear students very simple questions what is the valence of carbon two or four sir so why you include this question come on let's ask in chat section because why not if you answer this type of question you can easily know about yourself oh you can ask easy questions i can ask every question then i am already i am already master search this carbon this thing you can easily ha uh, think like in your mind if you think like then you can easily score out of out in your class 11 hey my answer b what's about others what's about others my dilly should be i need answer my dilly already told the answer what about others should be yes four is correct answer my dear students next question which of the following statement is true about carbon this is a je question students No, oh, yes, not an JE NTAC. Emma, always you ask, right? This is NTAC question. The question is very simple. We need to identify true substance. Okay, sorry, true statement. In first one, carbon is one of the building blocks of organic life. Obviously, it's true. Carbon is a major component of living beings. It's also true. Carbon is the main component of carbohydrates. All of the above. What is the answer? What is the answer, my dear students? Let us know. Very easiest question. Yes, yes. To question, let us know. For everybody, let us know. Let us know first. D. Surabhi answer D. What about others? My Delhi, Hema. My Delhi, Hema. Students, how many likes completed for this video? Share the channel, students. Hema, share it for your ah uh, what for your college group and everything. Okay, my Delhi. Yes, everybody answer this correct answer. Now it's in quiz time, everybody. First question in the quiz is. Which of the following does not contain a double bond? Double bond does not contain double bond, students. Very easy. Here, if you identify which one is ionic comp, sorry. Oh no 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 no. Ionic bond is also not. Yes, which one is ionic bond? Then you can easily identify that one. And also, it is an acid. It is an acid. Come on, let us know the answer. Students still five like why I don't know why I don't know students still six like I need minimum twenty likes for this video what is the answer what is the answer Hema my dearly Surabhi what is the answer Surabhi I think you are attending my classes right you are attending already my you are already attend my class in uh, before days also yes C is correct answer Surabhi yes C is correct answer then. Second question. Then skip this, students. Next more the allotropes. Allotropes. Halogen, right? Allotropes. Similarly, allotropes. Just imagine, students. Just connect the all topic with your on uh, with your favorite heroes and other things. Allogen is my favorite hero. I always connect allotropes with allogen. Whenever I saw allogen, I have some idea about allotropes. Very simple. What are allotropes, students? Carbon can occur in one form and other things. The carbon occur. in nature has different forms it has same chemical property but different physical property this property is called catenation it has the same chemical property different forms of physical property for example this diamond is there now it is hardest non metals it is an hardest non metal in the case of graphite we already know non metals are poor conductor of electricity except this graphite this graphite we use it in many many places for example Pencil in pencil also graphite is present in lead, right, my dear students? Everywhere this graphite is there for uh, dry cells. You know battery, right? In battery some batteries this graphite cells also there in costly batteries in laboratory batteries. Okay, this thing about allotropes. Next, these are all called as an amorphous. What is the difference between you know, right? Sir, you explain crystalline and amorphous. What is the difference? Crystalline is nothing but it forms as a crystal. Amorphous is nothing but you know that uh, soda, right? Sodium bicarbonate, soda, soda, normal soda powder. In the soda powder, it is very nice, very nice. Amorphous is nothing but whenever you touch, it has a very nice 
very nice nature for example this white of phosphorus black phosphorus and everything is there in this class you mainly focus on these three these three are not important simply i it is also there in slides and it is also i it, these three also i explained but it's not important only concentration concentrate on these three especially hema please concentrate on these three crystalline amorphous come on let's discuss detailly let's start with an diamond diamond is obtained in these countries for example in south africa where is that south africa yes here russia belgium america brazil okay right students you know right which is the in karnataka one word is there diamond gani athwa diamond na manno in something is called right where diamond who city is called as a diamond city this is your question one more question let us know the answer in comment section which city is called diamond city or in which area we obtain diamond more we extract diamond more in karnataka next more the structure of diamond students diamond is look like a 3d structure pyramid similarly like pyramid how it forms 3d structure very simple my dear students kgf it's for gold not for diamond it's for gold not for diamond okay kgf it's for gold okay students yes answer of previous question is a previous question which question oh that's question now okay surbi yes super Yes, it's okay. Then this is a property of diamond. It's look like a three D structure. Look like this one. What happened? One carbon is forms a bond with three different carbon. Not in three, sorry, four carbons. Yes, four different carbon like this one. Three D structure. Three D movies, you know, right, students? Similarly as this one. Three D structure. This thing. This is an. This is an structure, or this is a structure of diamond. The occurrence, the presence of carbon in diamond molecule. Here we have property of diamond students. First property, it is brilliant and pure diamond is the hardest natural substance. Diamond is an hardest natural substance. You know, Stein, you know, students. Apne see bataya. Which question, ma? This one, right? No, the answer is C only, Surabi. What they ask? They ask about which of the following does not contain. Don't confuse, Surabi. They ask, does not in the CO2 molecule it presents like this, CO2 structure. In C2H4 also we know it is ethene molecule. In oxygen it forms O double bond O, but HCl it forms single bond H plus Cl minus. It undergo what? It undergo ionization, right? H plus and Cl minus. Whenever we dissolve this with respective solu uh, solution or solvent, it undergo ionization. Now it's clear, Surabi. It does not contain double bond. The answer is C. Not A. Not A. Yes, Surabi. Thank you so much, ma. Diamond structure. Where is that property? Second property. It has an I density. Why? Because it is hardest substance. That's why, sir. Its also melting point is approximately three thousand five hundred degrees Celsius. It's okay. Don't ask sorry with me. Okay. Don't ask sorry with me, Surabi. Okay, ma. Don't ask sorry. Just leave that. Then when diamond is heated, uh, CO two is produced. We already know this. Then diamond not dissolves in any solvent. We cannot dissolve diamond. And also acid base has no effect on diamond. Then diamond is a bad conductor. Why, sir? All carbon, every carbon or every carbon in diamond it forms. There is no free electrons. All four electrons or forms a four covalent bond with other carbon, other carbon atom. That's why. Very simple. This about properties of diamond. The reason, the reason behind the property, very hard because of 3D structure, rigid 3D structure. Then I density same. If we have CC bond in 3D structure, we need high energy to broke that bond. That's why this diamond is used to grill the other oldest substance. High melting point non-conductor. We already know there is no free electrons, sir. Can we directly study chapter eight GOC without chapter one or seven, or should we go in order? No, 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 Sudesh. There is no relation between one to seven chapters on GOC. Starting one to seven chapters is there, na? These are all pure physical and inorganic chemistry, my dear students. Then after eight to eleven is there, na? Hmm. That is called organic compound. Eight and nine chapter, eight and ninety chapter is organic compound. There is no relation. Don't worry to this. There is no relation. You study. You watch that video. You watch entire video. You can easily get one idea about that entire GOC. If you want, I can explain once in uh, in any other classes in within twenty minutes. Okay, so this don't worry about it.
you go on steady man then uses of diamond we have many uses from using diamond it is used in jewelry as well as in industries to cut or grind or deal the other materials and in diamond knives and diamond dust and everything we use it it's not useful then what are the graphite another allotrope second allotrope graphite it is often in these four countries russia new zealand in india also graphite is obtained and also russia okay then let's move on to the structure of graphite students graphite is different diamond is different diamond simply 3d rigid structure carbon forms 3d structure with other four carbon atoms but here what happened in this carbon in this graphite it forms two layers graphite is nothing but it's a combination of many layers of graphene in graphene how it forms sir when will you teach chapter one chapter one when i don't have any idea don't worry before three days only i announce it because my dili and other student asked sir, please teach entire foundation for class lab class 10 maths also for that i need to uh, make a ppt i don't have so much time to be sorry for that yes class class for chapter one i think uh, ankita ma'am is teaching chapter two i take the structure of atom is there i take the chapter and also redox reaction hmm? okay don't worry i teach it sir do you know kirtika sanjana hema ma'am yeah hema i know i know her i know kirtika sanjana and hema ma'am if you want i think which way i go live with uh, them peoples i also attend live with the them peoples Hema, yes. They are all my college students, you know. In the month of August, we join for Vedantu. We are all one team. Hema, Kirtika, uh, and Sanjana, and also Logeshwari, Sharmila, everybody. We are all colleagues. Neha, Navya, and me. Totally, we are nine people joining this joining this Vedantu at the same time. We are all colleagues. We are do training. We are go, uh, go with training in same session. Sometimes everything. Sidhu, hi. Hi, Sidhu. Hi Siddhu. Come on students, let's concentrate here. It forms a graphene layer. In graphene layer, how carbon forms a bond? Carbon forms a bond in hexagonal array. Hexagonal shape. Da in after, I think, in end of the session or in correctly, exactly off part, uh, after completing off part of the session, we discuss this benzene compound. Similarly, it looks like this one. Hexagonal array. It forms structure like this. Students, hexagonal rings or hexagonal array. This is called graphene. We have few properties of graphene. This is and formation of graphene. Very simple, students. These are properties. First, they went to offline, right, sir? Yes, they are went to offline. They don't take class in online. I think they are taking class. Hi, Raghu. Raghu, today RTV match. You are excited. I am also excited. That's why I take class at early. Okay, students. First property: graphite. Graphite found in nature is black. It is black in color. It is soft. Brittle and slippery. Why slippery, sir? Because it is a two layer. Whenever you put paper, uh, paper, paper layer in, uh, in sample, for example, here there is no paper students. If it's uh, there, I show it once. Okay, don't worry. I do one experiment. I have planned to do some uh, experiments in this uh, Vedanta only. I come live and I do experiment how to differentiate acid and base. I do that. Hexagonal by pyramidal. Yes, super, super, Siddhu. Then second one, graphite is a good conductor of electricity. Why? Because graphite in carbon hexagonal array two bonds are and uh, this carbon is linked with other hexagonal array and another other uh, graphene layer then one electron is free that's why it is good conductor then due to layer structure graphite can be writing on paper we can use it too we can use it to write on paper then it's graphite density is very low compared to diamond it is very low and does not dissolve in many solvents it also does not dissolve in many solvents Property and reason, very important students. These reasons are very important. Why it is soft in nature or why it is a soft in nature? Because it has a seat like texture. That's why. Second one, why it is good conductor of electricity? Three layers, slippery due to layers can slide uh, over one another. Yes, simply. Come on, let's uh, discuss the uses of graphite. It is used in lubricant, machines, for everything. And used in making of electrodes in dry cells. Very important use. Very important use of a diamond. One of the important use. This is very, very useful in chemistry laboratory and other things. Okay. Then it is used in making of pencil lens. Very simple. Then one of the last one. Last crystal line. Which one is this one? Last crystal line. Allotrope of a carbon. Fluorine. 
A recently invented. It is a recently invented. That's why I named after US architects but Mr. Fulleran. It look like this students. Ball. Types of graphites. I explain in next class though there is no type of graphite is there. Graphite is contains uh, graphites, all graphites is same only. There is no type. Okay. If it's there, I explain in next class. Don't worry. See though I explain in next class. Then we have so much fuller and C60, fuller and C70, C80, C82. Why it's called as a fuller and due to the US architects. It looks like a US architects. Students, this is a property. First property is molecule of fullerans are found in the bucky balls and bucky tubes. It's not important, students. Just focus on graphite and diamond. This isn't recently invited. It, this is recently invited. That's why. Okay. This thing is clear. Then here one simple interactivity pod question is there, students. My dear students. In graphite, carbon atoms are arranged in layer of pentagonal array or hexagonal array. Let us know. I came. I back. I am back with five minutes. I am back in five minutes. Back in five minutes. Come on, let us. Let us know the answer in chat and everybody first. Yes, students, B, Surabhi answer B, Siddhu answer, Maidili, hexagonal, super. Yes, the correct answer is also same, students, B is correct answer. Now, allotropes of carbon. Uh, this allotropes, students. Amarpa allotropes. Now, crystalline amarpa, uh, crystalline uh, allotropes of carbon done. Then, amarpas. These are the amarpas. Coke is there, carbon black charcoal. Students, these are the coke property. For it is used in manufacture of gas, coke, grain is color, we already know. Then charcoal, oh charcoal is formed, charcoal is an highly porous, it is soft in nature, black porous is nothing but it has a few parts, right, porous we already know, right, yes students, then wood charcoal is there, animal charcoal and sugar charcoal, it is used to remove coloring matter, especially in class 11, this there, these are the reagent it is used, these are the charcoal reagents used to remove, remove the color, for example, what happened, whenever we prepare organic compound, some compound, some other compounds also mix it, for example, one compound name is this student says nitrobenzene. We know right nitrobenzene. How to prepare nitrobenzene? For benzene, we need to add some uh, nitric agent, nitric reagent H1O3 plus H2S44. Then we obtain nitrobenzene solid. It is yellow in color. Sometimes it is full yellow. It is uh, what uh, it is not in yellow, it is light yellow. Something is happened. We need to remove the right students. Some black color is happened. For this, we use this one. This is about charcoal and other things. Uh, just leave that. Then come on here, one question is there. In filler and carbon, atoms are arranged in this way. Which way? Tetragonus and pentagonus, pentagonus and heptagonus, pentagonus and hexagonus all are correct. What is the answer? Let us know the answer. Students, you know, right? Raghuram already know. Suhasa, fuel is tea. I need tea. I need tea, students. In middle of the class also, I need tea. If I drink tea, then my energy is in. My energy increases to 200%. That's all. As fast students, let us know. Let us know, students. My dear students, let us know. Everybody fast, students. Sir, I'm very curious to study chapter 1. When will Ankita ma'am teach and please tell in next class? Super. Otherwise, I only take class uh, 7. Sorry, class 11. Don't worry. Students so still like is 7. I don't know why. Please like the video everybody.
yes the answer is what is the answer yes pentagonus and hexagonus is correct then it's in this time my dear students here one question is there structure of two different form of carbon are given below identify two forms and how are they related to each other diamond graphite isotopes are graphite diamond allotropes are and we have two options these are wrong answers just i just remove these two answers uh, or i just ruled out these two then what is the answer let us know students first everybody b students what is the answer what is the answer b s b is correct answer this all allotrope in second question is there which of the following statement about graphite and diamond is true here we need to identify the true statement only true not then false statement first one they have the same crystal structure they have the same degree of hardness they have the same electrical conductivity they can undergo the same chemical reaction i already told one point in starting session if you listen that point then you can easily answer this question okay i give clue also these two wrong answer either c either d the answer is either c either d let us know first everybody first student surabhi maidili b what is the answer surabhi maidili hema why you are not answering siddho everybody answer first d s maidili what's about other rudraksh no no pa not d b answer is d they have undergo or they can undergo the same chemical reactions overall diamond and graphite consist carbon only if it's consist same thing same element then answer is d it definitely undergo same chemical reactions yes where is the pen man yes here there pen is there then here uh, match the columns questions is there then this remove its tooth okay next more the classification of carbon compounds classification of carbon compounds students depending upon the mode of linkage carbon atoms present in all alkene or alkene is classified into three types primary carbon secondary carbon tertiary carbon and pri uh, primary secondary tertiary Qua quaternary carbon quaternary carbon it's rare to find these three are very important okay students then primary carbon is nothing but a carbon at atom attached to only one carbon atom for example this one if carbon atom is attached to only one carbon atom primary if it attached to say two carbon atom for example this one it attached to two, two carbon right secondary this is not important for class tens okay three carbon and four carbon it is quaternary this are very important then hydrogen atom same primary secondary uh, this one just uh, we don't want this yes second one hydrocarbon and classification very important term my dear students come on let's discuss what are hydrocarbons a compound made up of only hydrogen and carbon these are called hydrocarbons two marks question for your board exams hema rudraksh everybody surabhi i think you are also class 10 students this is very important what are hydrocarbon the compound only form or the compounds only made up of by hydrogen and carbon only these carbons are called hydrocarbons very important definition students and next move to the types of hydrocarbons hydrocarbons are classified mainly classified into two types one is saturated and another one is unsaturated and also another type is there this is for class 11 students for class 10 students in your syllabus you only contain saturated and unsaturated and also it's classified into aromatic aromatic is nothing but like this circle circle or what sir please fast yes i do fast ma yes students cyclic compounds or circle or cyclic okay saturated the carbon and hydrogen is there now 
in carbo uh, sorry in hydrocarbons only carbon and hydrogen is there we know right students entire carbon and hydrogen is linked with single bond then it is called as an saturated in saturated we discuss alkanes unsaturated double or triple bond alkenes alkenes benzene super super sorry yes benzene then alkane let's move on to the alkane first time alkanes are the saturated hydrocarbon these are saturated hydrocarbons in this molecule we have only single bond it entire molecule is consists single bond this is a general formula very important what is the general formula of carbon it is it is n student cn h 2n plus 2 for example if n is equal to 1 it's called as methane ethane and propane very easy this one alkene what are alkenes alkenes are the unsaturated compounds consist double bond or contains double bond the general formula is this one the general formula is c2h2n Alkane though CN H2N plus 2. Students, this is N. Okay, not 2. This is N. Then alkane triple bond. The general formula is CN H2N minus 2. I explain one student, don't worry. Then move on to the classification of organic compounds. These are all organic compounds, right, students? Before going to classify classification, I explain entire hydrocarbons part. Students, hydrocarbons are classified into two parts or two important types. One is saturated and unsaturated. Just leave that arrange, okay? In saturated and unsaturated, saturated is nothing but entire hydrocarbon consists only single bond. Entire hydrocarbons consist only single bond. It is formed by single bond only. Then alkanes is there. In this alkanes are coming. Alkanes, the general formula is CnH2n plus 2. If you know this general formula, you can easily find out it's alkane, alkane, alkane. Very simple. Then unsaturated, it consists double or triple bond it consists either double or triple bond double bond compounds or relevant compounds are called as alkenes and triple bond relevant compounds are called as an alkynes he double bond is there now the general formula or the yes general formula the general molecular formula of alkene is cn h2n only h2n alkane is cn h2n minus 2 alkane is nothing but triple bond this about entire hydrocarbon and its classification okay students it's clear my Dili, rudraksh surabhi everybody is clear if it's clear then i move on to the classification of organic compounds for je students for especially for foundation students blue and yellow flame it's for saturated as it is an Flame test for saturated and unsaturated compound. Whenever we burn saturated compound, it shows blue color. Whenever we burn unsaturated compound or we eat an unsaturated compound, it shows yellow flame. We are already familiar with that one. Right? Till hydrocarbon, it's clear. Surabhi, everybody. My Dili. My Dili, it's clear. My Dili, it's clear. My Dili, are you there? My Dili, Surabhi, Rudraksh, everybody, it's clear. If it's clear, type this is my dear students. Fast type CC in charge. Second, fast. Clear, sir. Thank you so much, ma. Next mode of the classification. Organic compounds are classified to two types. Yesterday only I teach this one, students. Yesterday only I explained entire about organic compound classification. Open chains and cyclic compound. In open carbon chain, we have straight chain and branched chain. We already know about this. Then uh, branched chain, isopropene, we already know. Just think. Highly cyclic compound, cyclic, we already know it's not important. Then I remove this concept. Heterocyclic, oh yes. Yes. Next more the representation of organic compounds. Very important. Representation of organic compounds. Students, how we represent in organic compounds? We represent in two forms. One is called normal structure and another one is condensed structure it is represented by this one molecular formula complex structural formula then this is called condensed one this is bond line condenser is nothing but instead of writing this one we write ch3 it is called condensed and bond line notation this one for ch3 if it's a methane molecule ethane we write like this the if we give space in this one in bond it is called ch3 we take this entire part is as a ch3 okay students now it's clear this for class 11 students okay i already explained then i remove this one then more the very important learning outcomes my dear students next learning outcome is functional groups and this homologous series and IUPAC nomenclature for especially for class 10 students, these two topics are very, very important and also foundation students. Yes, my really and everybody, it is very important. Functional groups, homologous series and IUPAC. Same thing, same thing is there in your class 11th also students. That's why 
क्लास टेंथ क्लास स्पेशली दिस कार्बन वाई सर वाई ऑलवेज सुहासन चूज दिस काम कार्बन चैप्टर बिकॉज आई एम मास्टर्स आई कंप्लीट माई मास्टर्स एस ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड ऑल्सो आई टीच ऑर्गेनिक पार्ट ओनली ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री पार्ट इन क्लास इलेवंथ एंड क्लास ट्वेल्थ फॉर जेई एंड नीट एक्सपीरियंस दैट्स वाई दिस बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू गाइज ऑल्सो फॉर मी ऑल्सो ओके Common is this functional group. What is functional group, students? In taxonomy, we know. In taxonomy, we make we difference plants in one side and in animals in one side and also in plants, fruits in one group and vegetables in one group. Similarly, functional group is nothing but we know. Hydrocarbon is there, students. In hydrocarbons, hydrogen it is replaced by hetero atom. Hetero atom. Hetero atom is nothing but the atoms obtained in nature as an hetero form, Cl2, O2, and other nitrogen gas N2 form and other form S2, phosphorus. This thing, as students, this thing, these are called functional group. Functional group is nothing but what is the exact definition? This one. Functional group it is an may be defined as an atom or a group of atom. Functional group is an atom or group of atom present in a molecule which largely decides its physical and chemical nature. Entire physical and chemical nature of a compound is completely depending upon this hetero atom or this functional group. These are called functional group. Functional group is nothing but my dear students. Functional group is nothing but my dear students. What is functional group? This is a group of an atom or an atom which describes the entire physical and chemical property of a compound. Okay, these are called functional group. We have many functional group. These are called as an alcohol functional group and another functional group the naming is ethyl alcohol propyl alcohol the naming is this students mainly in class 10th you know only this five after class 10th in class 11th you know another more or more functional compounds and sh compound amide compound urea compound everything is coming halo is refer for chlorine and bromo compound alcohol for oh aldehyde for this one ketone this one carboxylic acid this one okay students i hope it's clear Amide, ether, ester, everything is there. Sulfonic acid. Students, this PPT is very, very important. More than fifty percent of class eleven, more than fifty percent of class eleven syllabus is there in this PPT. If you want this PPT, my dear, if you want this, if you want this, then I share it on on my Insta account. Don't worry, my dear, I share on my Insta. Otherwise, I share in Telegram channel. I send the link. Please download it. Okay. Her uh, Divya also for you also Surabhi. If you want, I share this same PPT in Telegram channel. Join the channel. Definitely, I share today. Please remember once, because I forgot that one. Because today I have plan to move to my native. That's why. Okay, students. Okay. What's the time now? What's the exact time now? The exact time is one thirteen. At exactly one twenty, we take break. Okay. Exactly one thirty, we take break. Lunch break. One thirty to one forty-five. Only fifteen minutes lunch break today because studio is booked and then somebody is late. The studio is booked after three. The studio is not ours. Okay, yes, students. This about functional group. Then more on the one question is there. Which of the following represent ether? R O R or R C O O R? Ether S T. What is the answer? What is the answer? R O R. The answer is P. Let's all students here. One question is there. Which of the following is amide? Come on, let us know. A na B na C na D na. Let us know, students. Fast. Everybody fast. Everybody, my dear, and everybody, my dear students, fast, 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 students. Which is the following is amide? Very important for JE and NEET question, students. Very important for JE aspirants and NEET aspirants, students. Very important. Let us know the answer. Let us know fast, everybody. What is the answer? The answer is option C. This is amide. I skip this quiz time, my dear students. Everything uh, related to functional group not. Come on, let's move to the homologous topic. What is homologous topic, students? Homologous. We already know. Whenever we enter any food store, every time whenever we enter market, our I look only for that. Look only for that what? Pani puri, rice stone. Similarly. We classify entire organic chemistry, or we place some organic compounds in different series. This series are called homologous series. Homologous series is nothing but the organic compounds having similar properties are kept in same series. Only chemical property, physical properties must and should be vary. 
Organic compound physical properties vary, students. It is gradually increase. It may be increase or decrease. Something is happened. now okay sorry sorry students next come on let's discuss homologous series now homologous series what is homologous series students here they homologous series is nothing but the compound having same property same chemical properties or kept in or kept in same series this series are called homologous series for example alkene alkene alcohol aldehyde series is there student all these compounds are there now all the compound present in series this have same chemical property but not a physical property physical property gradually increases then between two consecutive members of homologous series there is ch2 unit difference is there a group of organic compounds having similar structures but chemical property in which the successive compounds differ by ch2 group first property done second one methanol ethanol we have peeps uh, okay same first one same chemical formula second one this one and the mass difference is 14 u then it has a same chemical property but it has a gradually increase in difference or gradual change in their physical property some boiling point is changes to it's very simple here one important oh sorry one easy question is there what is the molecular formula of the third member of homologous series of carbon compounds presented by cn h2n plus 2 alkane series here we need to find out the third member C3H8 C4H10. A very simple question. Come on, let us know, my dear, and everybody A and B. Either A answer, which is the answer? Which one is correct? A na B na. A or B? Which one is correct, my dear students? Come on, let us know. A or B? A or B? One second, one second. Yes. Which one? My dear, what is the answer? Third member. Third member of the series. Simply substitute n is equal to 3. Then you got the answer. Then you got the answer. Fast, my dear students. Fast, let us know. Yeah, yes, my dear, it's correct answer. Yes, it's an correct answer. One second, students. Yes, okay. Yes, A is correct answer, my dear. Then come on students, let's move for the next part. Are you back now, Manclature? That's today only we discuss. This is very important for class 10 as well as JE aspirants and class 11 students. Students, are you back now, Manclature? Organic compost is there now. We name organic compounds for two names. Or organic compounds have two names. One is called common or trivial name and official or systematic name this official name is given by one system it is called iupac system before entering to the iupac in methyl group if we remove hydrogen then it's acts as an alkyl group very important for substituent methyl methyl we already know methyl ethyl propyl it is very important remove it everything is done then the iupac name is given by one institutes or one uh, yes, one official name of the organic compounds were given by IUPAC. It is the full form of IUPAC is International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. So, its entire IUPAC is divided into three parts. Word root, suffix and prefix. Word root or the word root is nothing but the, uh, the long chain. 
Void root is nothing but parent chain. It's nothing but the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms. Here we need to find first we first we need to find out the longest carbon chain. The carbon contain long chain. The number, the long number of carbon. For example, here look here, correct incorrect. Instead of taking this, here we need to take eight carbon. This one. First one, it's clear. Then suffix. Suffix is nothing but this one. Primary suffix, secondary suffix. Secondary suffix is added to the primary suffix. Primary suffix, these three. Alkane, alkene, alkane. If the compound consists single bond, then it is called alkane. For example, ethane, propane, and this one. Here, multiple bonds and functional group, we already know that things, everything. Halogens and other things. Okay. Come on, let's solve. Here, one question is there. Two neighbors homologous series is differed by which OO? I already write the answer. A, B, C, D. Which one is the correct answer? CH, CH2, CH3, CH4. Which one? Which one, students? Which one, my delay? Which one? Let us know students first, everybody. The answer is option B. Yes. Then next mode of this before entering to this compound students, I explain entire IUPAC here. I explain entire IUPAC system. Students, IUPAC, what is the expand form of an IUPAC International Union of Pure Applied Chemistry? IUPAC is then before entering to the IUPAC. We need some basic concepts. For example, B is correct, Mama Idili. Thank you so much. Uh, before entering to IUPAC, we need some important basic terms that methyl compounds and other things we know. If we remove one hydrogen from CH3 mo molecule, CH4 molecule, it's become methyl, alkyl, and other things. It's done. Then IUPAC name is divided into three parts, or we write IUPAC into three parts. This is a format of IUPAC. First, we need to write prefix term, then wood term or parent carbon chain, then suffix term. This is an format of IUPAC. In this prefix term, prefix term is completely depending upon substituent. And this root term is completely depending upon the number of carbon atoms present in long chain. Then this suffix terms is completely depending upon the functional group. In functional group, we divide into two types. Primary functional group is nothing but alkene, alkene and alkene is there. Na? Then secondary functional group is nothing but alcohol. For alcohol, Alkane is there now students if the compound consists single bond we remove this E by the suffix term for example Come on, let's try to name this compound Here alcohol is there totally two carbon is there in parents and two carbon is there There is no sufficient sorry. There is no substituent part is there then the name becomes very simple the name becomes ethanol their name become ethanol. E then in E we remove OL. We place replace a OL. After this, then if the substituent, if two or more substituents present, same substituents present, dientry. If different substituents present, then what we need to do? We go with an alphabet order, and the numbering is very important. The numbering is must and should be taken place from functional group side, or it's if it's alkene, alkene, alkene is there, then it's completely depending upon which one substituents. We need to give the number on the basis of the substituent come least priority. For example, one compound is there. Just taken one compound, my dear students. I take white one here. Five member compound. Here, CH3 molecule is there. In another molecule, here C2H5 is there and here CH3 is there. In this, the numbering is must and should be taken from the left side of the board. In these students, CH3 is nothing but methane. Then C2H4 is nothing but ethane. Young come first, E come first in the alphabet. Obviously, sir, E come first. Then the number is taken place from this side. Now the numbering is the numbering part is clear, my dear students. I hope everything is clear. I hope everything is clear regarding about IUPAC. This about IUPAC. Don't worry. I am making new video on IUPAC. Entire IUPAC of a compound, a conventional group, everything in under 10 minutes. In my writing, I explain entire organic chemistry, sorry, entire IUPAC, don't worry for that. Then move on to the chemical properties of carbon compounds and ethanol and its property. We have almost, we are there at end of the session, students. Totally how many slides there? Oh, ho, 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 ho. many slides is there. Around 300 slides is there. Exactly where we at?
वी आर एच वन फिफ्टी सिक्स लाइक मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ क्लासेस डन यस ई मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ सिलेबस इज ऑलमोस्ट डन स्टूडेंट्स कॉम ऑन लेट्स टेक ब्रेक टूडे आई नेवर एड माई ब्रेकफास्ट ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट्स दट्स वाई माई डेली एक्जैक्टली एट वन फिफ्टी ओटे एट एक्जैक्टली एट वन फिफ्टी दट क्लास इज कंटिन्यूस और नाउ इट्स एन लंच टाइम exactly at 150 the class is continued okay take lunch break students okay and after that we take our return to the class
Yes, students. Yes, 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 everybody. Come on, let's continue the session. Let's continue the session. Now, let's continue with chemical properties of carbon compounds. Still, we complete, uh, still, we, uh, up to till we discuss uh, which one, which one, up to till the entire bonding, everything is done. Now, let's continue the session with where's the pen? Ah, remote is there. Ah, yes, remote is there, right? Yes, chemical property of carbon compounds. Students, so, carbon was stain and it's found many different chemical compounds. We already know, right? First chemical property, these are the chemical reaction and they are going from carbon molecules. For example, first one is combustion reaction, it's nothing but burning. What happened in combustion reaction? Simply we heat the carbon compound with oxygen. Then we got the combustion reaction, then substitution reaction. We already know in hydrocarbon, one hydrogen is substituted by another element. One element is substituted by another element, very simple. Then another one, addition reaction, adding atoms to hydrocarbon chains. Let's start with combustion or burning. Students, combustion is nothing but oxidation reaction. But here also, addition of oxygen takes place. But here, what happened? Heat and energy is releases. What happened? Whenever the carbon, organic compound or the carbon compound is heated in the presence of excess amount of oxygen, complete carbon compound burns to form carbon dioxide and water molecule with the enormous amount of heat and light strength. For example, what happened? O2 molecule is there now. It forms a bond with this one and it forms CO2 molecule and H2O molecule. This hydrogen forms an H2O molecule and CO2. Very simple. Here we need to uh, balance the reaction, right? It's already balanced. Yes, it's already balanced. Sir. This about combustion. We already know. By using flame test, by using flame test, we can easily differentiate saturated one and unsaturated one. If it's give clear blue flame, it's nothing but it is a saturated compound. If it gives yellow flame, it is nothing but what it is, unsaturated compound and it also gives sooty flame. Whenever the carbon dioxide is releases, look students, it releases in the black flame. Always, right? That is nothing but, that is nothing but what? It releases sooty flame. Unsaturated compound always releases sooty flame. It's something but unsaturated compound burns with sooty flame. Saturated compounds burns with clear flame. Okay. This is one LPG and this one insufficient oxygen. And also another point is there. If we give insufficient or limited amount of oxygen to carbon, uh, methane compounds or any saturated compound, it also gives sooty flame only. Okay. Now let's move on to the second type of reaction, substitution reaction. What happened in substitution reaction? Substitution, hydrocarbon is there now. Simply we substitute one hydrogen from any other element. For example, the best example is addition of chlorine to methane molecule. What happened? Hydrogen is substituted by chlorine molecule. Then it formed methane chloride or chloromethane. Then this is an example. Substitution is done. Yes, this one is done. Then what the addition reaction? So if what is the addition reaction is nothing but the conversion of unsaturated compound to a saturated compound is called addition. Students, another one important point is there. Only saturated compound undergo substitution reaction, but other compounds does not undergo substitution reaction. Similarly, in addition reaction, only unsaturated compounds undergo addition reaction. Especially this nickel and palladium catalyst, the Addition reaction is there now, the conversion. It is very important or it is very, very important for your board exams. Here, what happened? The conversion of saturated compound to, un sorry, unsaturated compound to saturated compound is happened in the presence of nickel or palladium catalyst. I think it's clear. Okay, sorry, I hope it's clear. Let's do it. Next addition reaction, this one is there, bromine water and everything. And also, for unsaturation or saturated, uh, to identify or the, to differentiate saturated and unsaturated compound, we also use bromine water. What happened? Whenever you add, whenever bromine water is reacted with ethene molecule to form bromo, dibromoethane, it formed dibromoethane. Saturated bromine water test, what happened? In saturated, they do not respond any test. If you add bromine water, the decolorization of bromine is not happened. The same color is happened. But in, if it presents alkene and alkane, then decolorization of bromine water happens. Here one simple question is there. Combustion of most fuels releases CO2, SO2. What is the answer? What is the answer? Let us know in charge section, everybody. My dear students, everybody, let us know fast. Let us know fast, 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 fast. Bega. 
Everybody fast peace. What is the answer, my dear students? The answer is it releases CO2 gas. Yes. Then come on, let's solve. We have one question is there. Oil on treating with hydrogen in the presence of palladium or nickel catalyst from fats. This is an example of addition reaction, substitution reaction, displacement reaction, or oxidation reaction. Let us know the answer. One second, my dear student. Let us know the answer in chat section. I back. Thank you. 
Sorry, sorry, my dear students. Yes. What is the answer for this question, my dear students? Let us know. Everybody, my Dili, are you there? My Dili and other students, uh, Divya, Surabhi, are you there, students? What happened for Hema? Hema not attending the class. Where is Hema? What is the answer for this question? First, everybody. The exact answer is students. Oil on treating with hydrogen on the basis of which reaction? Addition reaction, it is called addition reaction. What happened? Yes, addition reaction. Now it's a time for quiz. First question in the quiz is while cooking, if the bottom of the vessel is getting blackened on the outside, it means that the food is not cooked completely. How? Oh, second one, the fuel is not burning completely, the fuel is wet all of the above. What is the exact answer? I already told you guys. Whenever we do not give sufficient oxygen for burning in the play in the time of in the time of combustion reaction for which compound for organic compounds what happened it's black and the answer is option b correct students the next question in the following methane cl to sunlight then a identify a and b and c what happened carbon tetrachloride chloroform 1 1 dichloro bromomethane that's di Chloro, sorry, dichloromethane, methyl chloride. What is the exact answer? B. Yes, Tarun. B is correct answer. Tarun, you saw that video? GOC video? If you still not saw, please watch that video. GOC video. Class 11 GOC video, Tarun. Class 11, entire general organic chemistry is nothing but some basic concepts of organic chemistry. Entire class 11th one unit I already done, students. Please watch it. My dear 23-24 batch students, please watch that video. Okay, students. Okay, Tarun. It's already done. Please watch it once. Huh? And also comment and also give feedback in comment section. Okay. Okay, Tarun. Yes. The answer for this question is option B. Chloroform. What happened? First chlorine molecule, methane molecule. What happened? CCL, CH3Cl form. Then after another hydrogen is removed, then it becomes CHCLCL. 
then another hydrogen is become then it's become ccl3 ccl3 is nothing but chloroform my daily answer it's not carbon tetrachloride it is chloroform ccl3 only three molecules chcl3 okay if another chlorine molecule is reacted then it's for friend carbon tetrachloride okay my daily next question yes there yeah, yeah, look here it is the chloroform chcl3 next one is one of the following organic sorry organic compound cannot decolorize the red brown color of bromine water this compound is nothing but the compound is alkane come on let's find out which one is alkane a na b na c na d na come on let's know use this formula student cn h2n plus 2 cannot sorry 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 either the compound is alkene or alkyne use this cn h2n either it's look like this form or cn h2n minus 2 form come on let us know the answer yes let us know students first i back one one minute students this is it's not there one second i back What is the answer students? Students let us know. The answer is which one? C14 H. Gokul answer A. C14 H28. Yes. The answer is A. Yes Gokul. It's correct answer. A is correct. Hey, no no no. C4 H28. Hey sorry students. The answer is C. Here we need to identify alkene or alkyne. Right students. Sorry alkene. Not an alkene or alkyne. It's correct only. Alkane compound does not undergo decolorate, uh, does not undergo or does not react with bromine water. Okay. Yes, students, answer is D. Next one to the ethanol and its property. What is the second homologue alcohol of series? Yes, ethanol only, sir. Come on. Ethanol can be prepared by fermentation of sugar. It is prepared by fermentation of sugar or it can be prepared by the fermentation of starch. Okay, students, this is a preparation. This is a property of ethanol. First one is ethanol is a colorless liquid. You already saw, right? One of the important or the ingredient present in drinks, right? The ingredient presence in drinks is which ingredient is present in drinking the alcohol? It's nothing but ethanol. It has a pleasant smell. We know, right? Yes, sir. Then it has a low boiling point and also it is lighter than water. So, students, if you take one gram of water one side or one ml of water one side, then one ml of ethanol one side. 1 ml of water, it has an iron or it has an iron molecular mass and other things. Okay. Or it is lighter than water, then highly soluble in water. We can easily mix this one. Mixable. Okay. Miscible solution. It is no effect on litmus. It's nothing but it's a neutral solution. Then it is a good solvent. It is used to dissolve many, many solids in the purification method. Then here we have few terminologies, important terminologies. First one is called rectified spirit. Rectified spirit is nothing but it consists 5% of water. It's nothing but 95% of ethanol plus 5% of water. It's nothing but 95 ml of ethanol and 5 ml of water in 100 ml of solution. Then absolute alcohol is nothing but 100% pure ethanol. Denature, denature alcohol is nothing but ethanol with other substances. For example, methanol, pyridine, copper sulfate and other things. 50-50%. Okay students, next more the chemical property. First one combustion. What happens if we heat the ethanol in the presence of excess amount of oxygen? It forms carbon dioxide and water. Yes Munwar, hi. Hi, hi, hi Munwar. I am good. How are you? How are you Munwar? How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you so much for asking this. Next, 
Second one, oxidation. We in control combustion is nothing but addition of oxygen. Very simple. Whenever the oxidation is happened or ethanol undergoing oxidation, it forms ethanoic acid. It's nothing but acetic acid. In this session only, we discuss the properties of acetic acid. Okay, what happened? Whenever the ethanol undergo oxidizing, oh sorry, oxy, ethanol undergo oxidation, it forms ethanoic acid. These are called oxidizing agent or oxidant. We already know, right? So what is oxidizing agent? The substance themselves they undergo reduction and as to other substance, as to other substance to undergo reduction, as to other substance to reduce. Very simple. Right, students, what happened? It releases ethanoic acid. Ethanol is easily converted into ethanoic acid. In exams, they ask, my dear class 10 students, in exams, they ask, what they ask? How to convert or how we convert ethanol to ethanoic acid by using strong oxidizing agent the examples are acidified k2cr2o7 and alkaline kmno4 then in this reaction what happened addition of oxidation sorry addition of oxygen nascent oxygen is happened and these two acts as an oxidizing agent next move on to the reaction with metals what happens students we know compared to hydrogen metals have high reactivity metals are highly reactive than hydrogen simply it replaces the hydrogen in methanol Sorry, ethanol. What happened? It forms sodium ethoxide, CO, ether bond, not an ester. In acetic acid, it forms sodium ethonate. It is very, very important, my dear students. Still, so many students, they have confused in these two. Whenever it reacts with ethanol, in exam, they ask this question. Definitely, they ask this question, 100% question. What they ask? What happens when ethanol is reacted with sodium? What it happened? It releases sodium ethoxide and hydrogen gas. Here hydrogen gas is releases. In that case also hydrogen gas is releases. But the product is different. Here sodium ethoxide is formed. In the case of ethanoic acid, sodium ethonate is formed. What happened here? This is reaction is used for test ethanol. By using pop-up sound. How to find? How to find or how to identify the hydrogen gas is releases or not? By using pop-up sound. Simply take burning splinter near to the... Hydrogen near to the gas releases. Whenever the sodium is reacted with ethanol, we already know sodium is an highly reactive metal. Right, students? This is a reaction, entire reaction. Then, dehydration is means, what is the dehydration? If we remove the water molecule from ethanol, it is called dehydration by using dehydrating agent. Which one is best dehydrating agent, students? Concentrated H2S before it is a best dehydrating agent. What happened? Whenever the ethanol or ethyl alcohol is reacted in the presence of concentrated H2SO4 or ethane in the presence of concentrated H2SO4 at 170 degrees Celsius, the water molecule gets releases and forms ethene. Okay, water molecule is released and ethene is forming. And next one, this one is happened. H2O molecule is released and ethene molecule are. This one. Next and very, very important reaction, esterification reaction. Two marks important question for your class 10 board exams and also class 11. What is esterification reaction, my dear students? Whenever the ethanol is reacted with ethanoic acid in the presence of concentrated H2SO4, it is sweet smelling ester. Ethyl ethonate. It is ethyl ethonate. It is called esterification reaction. It is also used to Test the alcohol. Okay, students, whenever the ethanol is reacted with ethanoic acid, it releases sweet smelling ester. Okay, students, then uses of ethanol, it is used in the manufacturing of paints, vanishes, medicines, perfumes, dyes, soap, ingredients in alcohol, everything we use. And also, students, it is as in used for many solvents, additive as poison. Now, ethanol, bikes, or ethanol, something uh, values or it is used as a fuel. Okay. Then it's a major component of alcoholic drinks. In whiskey, 35% of ethanol is there. In wine, 10 to 20%, beer, 6%. It is also used to antiseptic to sterilize ones. And also as a medicine, such as tincturing and the. Here, one interactivity part question is there, my dear students. When ethanol is heated with excess of concentrated sulfuric acid at 170 degrees Celsius, it gets converted into ethene. In this reaction, Concentrated sulfuric acid acts as oxidation reaction or dehydrating agent. Oxidation agent or sorry, oxidizing agent or dehydration agent. What is the correct answer? Let us know, students. Let us know, my dear students. Let us know the answer. First, everybody. Everybody, first, what is the exact answer? Yes, the answer is it is a dehydrating agent. Then let's solve the question. 
a compound X on reacting with sodium produces a gas that burns with a pop salt. Compound X on oxidation with alkaline Km14 gives a compound Y. With same number of carbon atoms, compound X is often used to sterilization of skin by doctor identify compound Y. First one, compound X is there. My daily answer A, superma. This question answer, this. which one answer my daily? This one or this one? Come on, let's try to answer this one. It's an B. It is a dehydrating agent. Whenever the concentrated H 2 4 is there, my daily, it is called as a dehydrating agent. Okay, my daily. Okay. Then here compound X reacts with sodium to produce pop salt. And also same compound oxidization. And it's produced Y with same number. It's nothing but acetic acid. Yes. The answer is ethyl ethanol, ethanoic acid, sodium ethoxide, ethyl ethanol. Here we need to find out compound y compound y is nothing but whenever we eat with sodium then what it is look look here one twist is there whenever the ethanol is reacted with alcohol sorry sodium what it is sodium what it is ethyl ethanate or sodium ethoxide what it is these two are wrong answer either c or either d what is the my dili whenever the methanol is reacted with sodium what it is it yield ester. Sorry, not an ester. It yield ether. Which one is correct? Ethoxide or ethanoid? Or what is the correct answer? Let us know, my dear students. D. Super, my dear. Yes, it's an sodium ethoxide. It's an correct answer. Super. My dear, it's correct. Hey, what? Ethanoic acid. What they ask? Oh, 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 it's okay, students. Ethanoic acid, S, 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 S. Now, let's pick the, this one, S. Next, ethanoic acid and its properties done. Then, let's move on to the ethanol is done. Now, let's move on to the ethanoic acid and after the soap and detergent. Yes, it's correct, my dear. Actually, I am only confusing you guys. Actually, they ask ethanoic acid. It's okay. It's also correct answer. Here, the first, how to prepare ethanoic acid? Simply by using ethanol. Simply oxidize the ethanol by using oxidizing agent. My daily, these are called as an oxidizing agent. I already explained about oxidizing agent. Themselves, they undergo reduction and helps to oxidize the other compound. Right, students? It forms acetic acid. This is a property. Then more the physical property. Ethanoic acid is also a colorless liquid. Smell like vinegar. Whenever you smell pickle, right? It's also consists of vinegar. Then, so to taste. Why, sir? Because it is acid, sir. That's why it is so to taste. Then, its melting point is 17 degrees Celsius. Then, after this, it is highly soluble in water. Then, same. Turns blue litmus to red. Brew coffee. Why? Because it is acid. My dear student, it is acid. That's why. Then, let's see the change in color. Compared to other HCl, it is very, very weak acid. It is very weak acid students and also it is also called pure acetic acid is also called glacial acetic acid very important for class 10 board students why because it has no boiling point it can easily freeze if you open the bottle of a uh, glacial sorry acetic acid it freezes look like this this one it's full cold students whenever you touch the bottom of an ethanoic acid bottle it is too cold the, why because it is have very low boiling point if you Place the ethanoic acid if you add uh, if you add 50 ml of ethanoic acid in beaker and give some time or and uh, do not disturb some time what happened it forms it forms ice it freezes then uh, action of litmus what happened pH is 3 and this one we already know next move on to the reaction with carbonates and hydrogen and what happened whenever the ethanoic acid is react with sodium sorry Carbonates or bicarbonates, yes, sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate, what happened? It forms, it forms which one? It forms ether, COO bond, sodium ethanate is forming. Sodium ethanate with the release of carbon dioxide. This is a reaction. This is a test for ethanoic acid. By using litmus, what litmus paper? Huh? No, by using lime water. Pass the carbon dioxide gas to the lime water. What happened? Lime water turns milky. If turns milky, then we can easily confirm that. What we easily confirm? Oh, oh. Carbon dioxide gas is releases and the solvent is ethanoic acid. That's thing we can confirm. 
and also whenever the ethanoic acid is released is heated with or is reacted with sodium it forms sodium ethanoate only and hydrogen gas bonds with pops out we already know this is also test for it is used for test for ethanoic acid then neutralization reaction what happened acid it's ethanoic acid it re reacts with any other base it forms salt because why? Because it's an acid, sir. That's why neutralization reaction. Then reaction esterification, same reaction is happened. Then uses of ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid are used in the manufacture of vinegar, especially to store pickle. And also it is used in the manufacture of acetate students, nail polish remover. We know, right? Whenever you guys are visiting studio and other uh, malls, what happened? You try and new one nail color, but it's not good for you what happened in other solution is there acetone solution you simply apply that then your nail polish is removed in that acetone ethanoic acid is there the acetone is prepared by ethanoic acid then it is also used to coagulate rubber talc uh, what latex and in making of cellulose acetate it is in the it is used in the making of cellulose acetate my dear students here one question is there pure acidic acid is also known as glacial acetic acid by turic acid what is the answer my dearly, what is the answer a or b what is answer ma my delay? What is the exact answer my dear students? After this maximum 10 to 15 minutes students for this unit maximum 10 to 15 minutes after this we have only soap and detergents compounds uh, sorry concept after that J -E need questions we discuss some J -E need questions and then the entire unit is done. What is the answer my delay A or B? Pure acetic acid is known as glacial acetic acid or bituric acid. What is the answer? What is the answer, students? Yes, yes, it is called as a glacial acetic acid. Come on, let's solve the question. 2 ml of ethanoic acid was taken in each test tube 1 and 2. A red litmus paper was introduced in test tube and one and a pH paper of introduced in test tube 2. The experiment was performed by a four students ABC. The report their observation as given below. The correct set of observation was made by red knit was to blue. Okay. Yeah. In test tube 1 and 2, 2 ml of ethanoic acid is there, students. They take 2 ml of ethanoic acid in test tube 2. Four students are there and they, uh, they reported their observation. They reported this observation. In both ethanoic acid is there. They take red, not in blue. Look here, they take red test, uh, red litmus paper. Then first one, first students, what they report? It's turned blue, turned orange, and turned remains unchanged, turned green, and turned blue, turned blue, remains unchanged, turned. These two wrong ones. Because red never changes in acid. Right, students? Either green or either orange. What is the answer? Either B, either C. I want this correct answer. The answer is turn. D, yes, yeah, sorry, either be either returned orange. Orange, okay. Now it's in quiz time, then quick turn. It's okay. Then last enter to the soap and detergent and fast students. Soaps. Soaps are prepared by reverse of esterification reaction. It's nothing but whenever ester, whenever ester is reacted with alkali, it's nothing but base. We in soap and glycerol, it's nothing but alcohol. It releases the same one. We have Examples of so first example is sodium stearate. The formula, molecular form, sorry, the molecular formula is this one C17H35COO minus Na plus. Just imagine, students, this is a long chain molecule, more than 18 carbon atom is present. Then, second example, this one. Then, structure of soap is exactly look like an tadpole. One face is there and one tail is there. The face is called the face is there now, it is in water soluble. That's why it is called ionic part and long hydrocarbon chain it is oil soluble then this water soluble thing is called hydrophilic and oil soluble is called as an hydrophobic hydrophilic is nothing but it's water soluble hydrophilic is nothing hydrophobic is nothing but it is oil soluble it's clear students next mode the cleaning action of soap very important for class 10 students in order to keep the hydrocarbon path of water why because it is insoluble the soap molecule forms cluster they form a cluster like structure this like structure here look here everything is forms a cluster this cluster is called as a missile what happened to keep to keep the hydrocarbon path out of water to keep the hydrocarbon path out of water what happened the soap molecule arranges it 
In this arrangement is called Michel clusters. What happens is soap molecule take this entire the grease, the hydrocarbon part take entire grease and it removes. Very simple, just like this. Then soap molecules are legal. Sorry, sorry, are large enough to scatter light. This molecule is large enough to scatter light and it shows spindle effect. Very important. Then what happened? Hard water. What is hard water, my dear students? Hard water is nothing but hard water is nothing but the inside the whenever we take the borewell water right it is inside the water that's hard water what happened whenever the soap uh, whenever the this one is hard water sea water river water spring water this one what happened whenever we have some few limitation of so first one the formation of leather or foam is necessary for removing dirt from cloth soap does not give leather easily with hard water yes yes this I have, it is in N of the, uh, almost is N. Almost we, uh, I have at last end of the session or last part of the session. Okay. I don't know why students, uh, now I am facing some cold issue. I don't know why. Yes, students, come on, let's discuss first. Hard water limitation. We cannot use uh, hard water. We cannot use soap for hard water. Why? Because. So hard water consist, sorry, consists calcium and magnesium. Whenever the soap is reacted with calcium, it forms a scum. That's why. To overcome this problem, detergent is coming. Detergents is nothing but soap plus soap, my dear students. Soap plus soap. This is an example. A detergent has a large non-ionic hydrocarbon group and group like the same students, same thing is happened. This is about detergent. But detergents are biodegradable. And here soap measures, okay, just leave that. We don't want this. Yes, come on, let's solve. Actually, now it's time to solve J and need questions, student. First question, it's an AMPT 1990. The question is an organic compound X with molecular formula this has six carbon atoms in a ring system. Two double bonds and a nitro group as substituents. X is homocyclic but not an aromatic. Aromatic but not an homocyclic. Homocyclic and aromatic, heterocyclic and aromatic. What they give? They give totally C6H7O2N. It's aromatic but not homocyclic. The answer is option A, homocyclic but not an aromatic. Aromatic is nothing but C6H7. If instead of C6H7, it's C6, C6H5NO2 is there. Same question instead of C6H7, uh, what is this? Yes, H7 instead of H7, if it's there, uh, H5, then it is aromatic. Okay. Yes, this one. This uh, this is a structure. Uh, this one. Hence, it is homocyclic and it's made up of one of atom that is not aromatic. This is an exact answer. Second question. AM, the correct IUPAC name. Come on, let's identify the correct IUPAC name, students. Yeah, we need to identify long chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If you consider this one also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is also 7. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is 6. We cannot consider this line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then this one. The name becomes this one. 4 ethyl. At exact 4 position, ethyl group is there. Then th third position, propyl group. 1, 2, 3 group. And X1 en. Very simple. Then this is a name. Then second one. When ethanoic acid reacts with ethanol, a speed smelling. Which one is released as? Ether. Sorry, ester. Sorry, ester. Next one. In 2009 question, the IUPAC name of the compound having the formula. Come on, let's find out the IUPAC here, students. This is a compound. Let's write the structure of compound. Triple bond is there and also double bond. That's why YNE comes last. Then this two are wrong answer. Yes, this two are wrong answer. Then here, oh, totally how many carbon atoms is there? Four carbon atom. Four carbon atom is there at exactly first position, the butene. Because ENE is ENE, double bond is substituent like students. That's why the answer is option C. Next question, which one of the following pairs represents stereoisomerism? Structural isomerism, geometrical, optical, geometrical. The answer is optical and geometrical. It's not there in your syllabus. Just leave that. Then, Next question, J.E. means 20, 2015 mains question. Looking at the question is the optically inactive compound form the following is 2 chloroprenyl. this one, 2 chloro, 2 methyl butane. This is an optically inactive, this one. It is also 2002 following type of compound that studied in terms of isomersine. Here what happened? It has same molecular formula, different molecular formula. It is a conformous, sorry, stereoisomerism. Bulky groups is present, this one. Come on, let's quickly summarize students. 
we discuss about compounds inorganic organic compounds and combines the uh, occurrence of carbon and tetravalency allotropes of carbon and uh, it uh, allotrope and secondary types of carbon atoms and also organic compounds ac acyclic and cyclic types of that one representation and the functional groups and characteristics of homologous series iupac system and ethanoic acids soap and disturbance right students this about today's class any doubt is there if you don't have any doubt then let type cc in chat section and Thank you so much for watching the video till then. Students, my dearly, any doubt, my dearly? Now you got some idea about carbon and its compounds, my dearly? How was the session? Just telling, just telling single line, students. How was the session? Please give a valuable feedback in comment section, my dearly. Please give a valuable feedback in comment section, not in chat. Okay. Sudesh and everybody, please give a valuable, please give a valuable feedback in comment section on this video, my dearly. Please give that. Please give a feedback please i ask it no comment is for coming from at least this space for me i don't know why in before so many students commenting especially krishu is commenting for every video please 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 give a valuable feedback in comment session thank you so much to them this about today's session this is your suha sir ending with a beautiful smile thank you so much fabulous thank you so much in comment please in comment please not in chat in comment section after the end of a stream after the ending of a live please comment it thank you so much students and the ppt i share it on telegram either in my inside okay definitely i share it on telegram either otherwise i share it on my description in uh, otherwise i upload in description please download it okay students thank you so much for watching the video and this is your suhas sir ending with a beautiful smile and then in monday shall we discuss or uh, in monday i think monday i don't have any class in english channel i don't take any class if i take then i inform you guys i think i have planned to do metals and non-metals unit if i take definitely i inform you thank you so much monday okay just think just to just do students monday we discuss entire metals and non-metals on the shot okay for foundation class thank you so much bye students